Mix Master! <laughs> How quickly... You are listening to Roxanne Roxanne. I am your hostess with the mostest, Roxanne. I got my partner in crime, Six Starborn, in the building. What's going on, y'all? Ram. Oh, you sound yummy. <laughs> Not yummier than Mila. I also got my baby mama, my baby Mada, hip hop soul singer, Mila Machenko, in the building. Hey, boo. Ram. Can you sing that? Sing Hey, boo? Yeah. Hey, boo. Wow. See? Hi. <laughs> Y'all can't have her. Y'all can't have her. I'm in a church, a church singing mood. Yeah, oh, are you? Everything is Well, it is Sunday. <laughs> I hear that. I needed the church in the house last night. Well, well, well I'll wait for the rant for that one. Uh -oh. But yeah, <laughs> we also have a very special guest this, um, this day with us. He'll be joining us in a few minutes. His name is Mr. Easy. He's a reggae artist and superstar. Mr. Easy, more fire, more fire. Will be joining us during Roxanne's roundtable. We'll chat up um, with Mr. Easy to find out how he got his start, what he's currently working on, and what words of advice would he offer up and coming artists. Oh, and our topic is coined. Take it easy. <laughs> what is it? What is it called? Easy does it. Take it easy. I know. Oh, that song just rings in my mind. But it's easy does it. Does it easy? Do it easy. What song was that? But never mind. So stay tuned for a little R and R. Give it up. Give it up. How's everyone doing today? Very good. Very well. A little behind schedule. I guess should be. You know, he's gonna be out front in a few. So we definitely want to give him, let him maximize his moment. Um, I want to do the, like the little special acknowledgments that we like to do. First of all, Happy Fourth of July. It's really weird. A lot of people were wish, wishing me Happy Fourth of July. It was like almost like Happy Mother's Day almost. Yeah, Since people when? are just wishing happy everything these days. I don't get that. Mm, very interesting. I want to congratulate my cousin Nakia and her husband Daryl White. They got married. We drove out to Maryland. Thank you, Sunkiss, for taking us to and fro our destination safely because I was a little nervous. But, you know, we got to see the family and it was a really, really dope wedding out in Maryland. Really, really nice. Shout out to the students in Britain for inventing the condom that changes colors based on an STD that you have. So what color does it turn if you have chlamydia? I think it's like yellow. Ooh. Neon yellow. <laughs> what, about, <laughs> what about the herbs? I'm not Brown. Sure. <laughs> uh, Brown and drippy. Green. Some of these people out here are going to have rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> that is so crazy. Oh, okay. Well, my, shout out to them. My question is, what if the man has the STD? How do you know whose STD it is? Oh, God. Like, when it starts turning And do you think colors? it'll merge colors if they both have it? Right. <laughs> and then what happens if they uh, both have it? Do they just say, fuck it and take them off? It gets, it turn, ooh, uh, it's got to turn like an indistinct color. <laughs> One that hasn't even been on the uh, spectrum. It's got to be a whole new creation what you, what, what do you say oh that's very interesting we'd have to do some more research on that uh, I'd like to say in 2016 there will be a free online service that will trace african-american ancestry the project will collaborate with the Smithsonian the National Archives the afro-american historical and genealogical society as well as the California American african-american museum and oh uh, gosh, this is a lot in family search. Most African Americans cannot trace their lineage prior to 1865, and this will help us trace our roots. What say you? A lot of people are gonna find out they're descended from Uncle Tom. <laughs> That's what I say. I, hey, say man, as long as, it, it, as long, whatever has to happen so that every black person ain't gotta be Egyptian no more, every black person ain't gotta be, you know, Kemet, and what are you trying to say i'm comedic okay and that's fine but there's a lot of black people there's a whole there's a whole lot of africa is my point there's a whole lot of africa you know and a lot of us come from west africa and don't know nothing about any of them countries in west africa that we're very likely from and repping for them 
non-black Arab, don't even claim to be from Africa, Egyptian. So, hold up, but hold up, I don't want you to get into a long thing. <laughs> but you know, Here but, we but, go. <laughs> but, but I mean, but the Egyptian Superbell pyramids were black and actually after about three, about thousands of years, like 1500 years of war, people trying to, you know, take their- Right. No, yeah, and that's true. Rewind. After, after like so many years of people trying to take theirs, they decided to just pack up and move to West Africa. And in and, and the history, it's actually the biggest human migration ever recorded. The Almost the whole country of Egypt just packed up and said, we're going West. They want this thing, they can have it. We're yeah. going to start over somewhere else. Because you Continuously can't, you can't fighting. fight thousands yeah. of years of Persians and Greeks. It gets and played Romans. out it's and like, yo, tiring dude, after a while. We were, we was building Correct. pyramids before y'all came along. And now all of our resources go to war. So then they went to the West Coast. And what happened when we got out West? A few years later, after Mansa Musa became the richest man in the world, out on the West Coast, they came over there to take what we have from mm -hmm. over that side. Such is you the know. life. Go ahead. This has been Six's <laughs> History Lesson. <laughs> Listen, well, gee, now you know how I feel. <laughs> That's a whole different story. I want to give a big shout out to my homeboy. He's a friend of the room and he should be coming on very soon. He's the um, Caribbean supermodel, Kenneth Kerr, for marrying his longtime partner. Uh, once Damn. it became legal in the United States, he went out to flew out to Atlanta and got married to his nice his, um, his congratulations. Bill. Congratulations! Oh, that flirting he was doing with my lady, I knew I wasn't nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, keep going. Ram! Shout so out to you, later. Congratulations! Yeah, congratulations, Ke um, Kenneth, and big up Thea. Hi, Thea Nixon. How you doing, Ali? All right, this portion of the show is coined. Oh, I'll give one more shout out. Oh, certainly. I just want to give a shout out to Dr. Carney Ooh, and yes. all the staff at the VA hospital for treating me very good. I love y'all. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for y'all. Six, if you die, I'm gonna kill you. Six, take care of yourself, my friend. Yeah. We yeah, need no, you. I really just want to, like a lot of times the VA and the VA hospitals, they get a bad rep. They yes, see they stuff do. On the news. The administration is messed up, but the staff themselves yeah, they really care, care they a lot about the veterans and they really yeah. do a lot of work to keep us here and just want to say thank you and just let the world know that they are shout you out know. shout out to the va for shout taking out. care of our gunshot, gunshot. and if you die i'm gonna kill you taking care of our grandfathers and uncles and you know our crazy Aunts uncles who went to vietnam and all of them yeah. came back all crazy even though some of them are kind of crazy in there but that's a whole different story they took <laughs> care of your boy six star born so um definitely shout out more oh my gosh more fire to you um i'd like to do my rant here, Six, you're going to have to answer this for me. Um, that's Mr. Easy. I'm hoping that um, everything is okay downstairs. My rant, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out. You know, everybody know that you, knows that yesterday was 4th of right. July. Okay. And watch out for our camera, Six. Six, watch out for our camera. Um, everybody knows that yesterday was um, 4th of July. But my problem is that around 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, they decided to let it ring mm -mm. over there um, in the complex. And I'm talking about, we're watching sky rockets, those rockets flare thingies, mm -hmm. um, shooting up over the buildings and explosions in front of my window and things of that nature, which I'm like, yo, dude, people have babies in their homes. They've got elderly people in their homes. They got people that just came home from work and that just drove in from Maryland that would like to get some sleep. My son, my, my nine-year-old, he went in the room and grabbed the phone and said, I'm calling the cops. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, yo, I'm scared. I am Terrible. scared. You know what I'm saying? And I just think that people should have a little bit more discretion when they're doing things. You know, people have to go to church today and just like knock it off. Go to the pier and watch it like normal folks. Or if you're going to do the whole thing, just can you do it at a decent time? And you know what else? I was decent trying to hour, find this. Hour. I can't I'm sorry. see your eyes. Oh, okay. So um, I was reading uh, something on Twitter the other day. It was a, um, uh, a veteran who was holding up a sign. Right. It was like, hey, you know, be careful with your fireworks because you have a, you know, a veteran in your neighborhood. You know, a lot of them have PTSD from. Oh, my God. You know, and oh, that gets oh, triggered oh. from those uh, fireworks and stuff. And that could be they very traumatic for them. Could you imagine? So that's something that we have to take into account, too. 
you know. Mila, I didn't think about that one, it's but crazy, that makes right? absolute sense. Yes. You gotta think goodness. about. You gotta think about our troops, our veterans. And absolutely, stuff, absolutely. But we gotta get on to our next portion of the show. This particular portion is called Ask Roxy. Uh, usually, our writers or our viewers uh, <laughs> send in their 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 questions. You know, they want me to give advice, and I'm glad that you guys feel super confident in me. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Six, what were you doing with my phone? He was okay. looking through your, he was I swiping he through was, your pictures. You know, I he told you just look at one picture. News. Don't go to the left, don't go to the right. But anyway, <laughs> I, I, for all advice questions, please email me at info at Roxanne, Roxanne.roccas, because I rocks. And remember, do as I say, not as I do. Uh, Mila Machenko, what you got for me today? Dear Roxy, yes. my wife and I, both female, are getting ready to have a baby this year. She's white, I'm African American, and for health reasons, she will carry the child, so he or she will be at least half white. We will use a sperm donor, and I think that we should use a black sperm donor. I think it will be nice if our child isn't obviously, biologically, one of ours and not the others, and we don't have to field so many questions about that. However, I'm flexible on this and just excited to be a mom. My wife has a different opinion. She says adamantly, we should try our best to use a white sperm donor. My wife isn't racially prejudiced at all, but she makes the point that it is a known fact that in this world, especially in Texas where we live, it is a lot easier to be white. Especially if we have a son, it is factually safer to not be black. I see what she means, but I really think that's reducing African-American history to a statistic of violence. And it makes me think we re really should use a black sperm donor, if only to contradict that statistic. Which one of us should relent? What do you think, Rox? Mm -hmm. First, I'd like to say thank you for writing in. Making a decision to have children can be a bit complex, especially when the parents aren't on the same page. Clearly, you guys, you love each other. You want this baby, but you're not on the same page. I agree with your wife. African Americans do face prejudice, but I wouldn't solely base my decision on who the donor should be based on that. I can't give an answer on who should relent, but I could certainly um, would suggest that you get two unbiased people, one from each side, preferably a family member that gives a shit about both of y'all, that loves you hard, wholeheartedly, and y'all have a family discussion, even though the, the, the two people, you know, it's your life, but people that actually care, they wanna see the best, and y'all could just have a, you know, weigh out the pros and the, the cons. And I would like to say that there are many places in the United States that, you know, that's racist, and should you decide to use a black donor, you can always move to an area that is less racist. I mean, good luck, but <laughs> you just know, seriously. And by the way, just out of curiosity, you being an interracial gay couple, did you personally experience any prejudice? Because um, that's a prejudice, quote unquote, in its own self, being a lesbian and being inter dating interracially, which not for that's me, like a double, but a yeah, double so whammy. maybe um, you're trying to offset you know the 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 added pressure or no added pressure or what what have you but let me just mention this one particular uh fact there was a woman who was impregnated by white woman impregnated by a donor and her daughter i think that she went to the pool expecting to have a white baby and she ended up giving birth to a african-american child so of course i'm sure there were a lot of legal battles that ensued yeah but she, she wanted to sue she sued as she should have because that wasn't a part of the agreement but she loves her daughter and she also she too lived in a, a town that was deemed as very racist and guess what she did she packed up and left so anything that's worth having is worth you know making those type of decisions and you know moving can i make a suggestion yes why don't they just like meet down the middle and get like a puerto rican donor you know what or <laughs> punjabi yeah <laughs> they don't gotta be black it could be punjabi or asian i get mean it. my thing is it's like you said like you're like you're already an interracial <laughs> lesbian Chick. couple in texas if you wanted to live an easy life go be fake straight and marry a white man you know what i mean like i feel like and and i i don't know i the way my personal politics are set up. <laughs> <laughs> the way things are set up. <laughs> you know, 
I, I, it, that's a, it's a piss poor argument for me. You know, I, what I, mean? I think it's silly and personally, um, but I do. I guess it's, it's not true. silly. It's not it's that not it's silly. not true. It is easier to be a white man and in that's this world. Facts. facts. You know, Hashtag that doesn't facts. mean I necessarily want to be a white man. Like if I had a choice, I would stay in my black ass skin. Mm -hmm. You know, what and I be mean? treated fairly and make more money than them. Right. That's Let's, what I prefer. How about we change the system? How about that? The, si it's the system is the problem, mm -hmm. not you and your wife. All right. Basically. But and listen, and I understand her argument. I mean, if you are dating and uh, 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 if they're it's an interracial couple, I mean, don't get me wrong. Certain genes can dominate the other. You understand what I'm saying? But have your mixed baby. Yes. There's also the, there's also the school of thought that suggests that the way to end racism is for everybody to make mixed beige babies. So that mm -hmm. everybody is everything. Sounds good <laughs> to me. On a, just on another thing. Now, now, now we get to see from a white person's perspective, how all black mothers feel. You know what I mean? They don't want their babies Jeez. to get killed. Now she has a choice between a black baby and a white baby. You know why she doesn't want the black baby? Cause she doesn't want the cops to kill Target her angle. child. Yep. You know what yeah. I mean? And guess what? America, that's how all black women feel every time. I cried any time I found out I was having a boy. Each time. Oh. Did you see something? I each did. time. It was like a bird or something, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was up there. Yeah. I did see that. Each time I found out I was having a boy, I did cry. But I know Mila's hands are busy. This portion <laughs> of the show, I have coined. Roxanne! I didn't say as yet. Oh, sorry. Oh, you were premature, Mila. Can I do this you again? You want to try it again? Yes. yes, please. This portion <laughs> of the show, I have coined as. <laughs> During this segment, I like to talk about things that I have found most interesting. I do not discriminate, so anything that I talk about can be anywhere around the world because I am worldly, right? Mila, am I worldly? You're very worldly, Roxy. Am I worldly? Very. Quite the worldly woman. Uh, likewise. <laughs> Ram! You can also view all of Roxanity topics in its entirety on my Facebook page, Roxanne, Ro Roxanne, Roxanne. Uh, presidential Republican candidate Donald, Donald Trump has been creating quite a stir in the media due to unfavorable <laughs> remarks he's made about Mexicans. Trump basically referred to Mexicans as rapists, drug dealers, and killers. Since then, many companies, specifically Macy's, have cut their ties with Trump because Donald Trump does not reflect the magic of Macy's and that they have an obligation to be socially <laughs> responsible, end quote. Last week, Univision announced that they were canceling its telecast of the Miss USA pageant, which is partly owned by Trump. NBC Universal also severed their ties with him, and Celebrity Apprentice will no longer air on their network. <laughs> Trump plans to sue the network for breaking their contract. The domino effect has begun here in New York City as well. New York City uh, Mayor de Blasio announced that he will be reviewing the Trump, the contract that Trump has with the city. He actually won a lottery under the Bloomberg administration to open up a golf course out there in the Bronx. So de Blasio was going to personally thumb through those documents that's, to make sure we review that shit. That's but that's that's Yo. illegal. That's, but did you first see? Of all, that's the, I mean, he was already giving it. But he has, he has first of all, people that's, have freedom that's of speech. Up. And then I looked at what he said, and what he said wasn't exactly untrue. <laughs> Well, there are statistics. There are statistics statistically, that show. Statistically. They, no, 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 no. There are statistics that Listen, show. Hold to on, hold all on. The, I, I don't agree with none of this bullshit <laughs> Six is about to say. Disclaimer. Let me just, he said, no, no, no he in terms that, of like when they look at actual stats. The stats. They, were, they, were, they were showing like. like even though I don't in, agree in with Trump. How about they that? They said that they're right. They said like the rapes in Cali. There are more rapes being committed by illegal aliens than like Sorry, people guys. now if you're an illegal alien of course you're gonna do crime because there's you can there's more rapes there's more rapes no, well, no, by no. illegal aliens no, no, than no. by people <laughs> yes those yeah. are two different two then separate American entities people. illegal aliens two separate entities human beings. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, listen, they're classified. But said, no, but he said he's no, no. He said he said this is an uphill battle that I'm six fighting. Six is a Republican. Said, well, no, he Jesus said that. We know who right. got six's vote. He said that illegal alien immigration, right? He said he said they're all good people, but it also brings rapists, crime, drug dealers. He did not. That's not how he said it. First of all, you that's lying, how I read it. That's, I read it. I didn't, yeah, but he didn't I hear saw, the audio. I watched, the, I watched him say how did he say from it? his own mouth. How he said, he in quote, he said the aliens are rapists, the thieves, they're murderers, 
<laughs> you know, there might be some good people. <laughs> No, but like the crazy said. part is, I don't know why I'm here with hey. static, but the crazy part is, you know, uh, clearly when you read something and when you hear it, it's two different things. Yeah, it's two, two different things. But the message, like good humans the message was too. still the same, the same nonetheless. You don't get do well, actually, I love, <laughs> listen, I love every single thing about Donald Trump running for president. This shit is the most ridiculous. It's an asinine. Hold up. It we need the like, chicken man back. Though, it's though. a circus. It's an how, it's how, asinine. This Wait. motherfucker spent years and years talking about how Obama, Obama and the trade agreements is ruining American business. And every business he got, he's working with them fucking countries. Talking about how Obama's taking jobs yeah, out of America. They did you mention that job, about China. You got, you got factories in every country you talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Obama's get, get, I mean, get, all, that, get all, the but, fuck hold out of here. Time out. Time out. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, you can't, you, how you gonna get see mad what at I him, go through? Yeah. you're gonna get mad at him for that, but Obama trashed Mitt Romney talking about, oh, Bain created jobs out the country, while he's created jobs, they all create jobs out the country, because why, it costs too much to employ Americans, That's Americans not be wanting $15 an hour to, 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 to fry chicken in KFC, why would you pay them to, to build iPhones? Because those kids over there building <laughs> iPhones in other countries is, 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 is six years old and being paid 30 cents a day. But they can buy more with 30 cents a day than we can. Six. Get the... <laughs> My friend left. Buzz the bell. Tell them to buzz the bell, Mila. All right. They're going to buzz you in right now. Oh gosh. Now you see what I go through here on the air and behind the scenes, guys. You get what I'm going through. But as I was saying, Mila, but come Obama, back. Mila, bring your ass back in here. But Obama, <laughs> however, do you remember when he tried to get in Obama's neck about his uh whether he was born here in America? And wanted to prove <laughs> that he was an American citizen by brand he wanted him to, you know, show his uh birth certificate. Mila, what the hell did I miss when I was talking to Mr. Easy? Sis is over here talking about fucking child labor. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But, but, but we it's all okay. have iPhones, so it is okay. No six. Okay, let so me get on we, to the wait, next are one. Are we going to ban, are we going to stop six. using, okay, we'll six. talk about Let's this go. later. Oh God, we got to do this on Periscope. Periscope later, later please. Per later scope. Later scope. Later look. Later scope. Periscope. I mean, later periscope. Mila's drinks always do something to me. The FBI conducted an investigating, in, yes, a investigation on gang members. They've got me all slipping up. Housed in Baltimore City Detention Center. Reports state that the inmates have been running the jail, and the focus on inmate Tavon White of the Black Gorilla Gang revealed just how he had he was able to obtain drugs and a whole bunch of contraband. Tavon was able to do get anything he wanted based on a wiretap tap because he was seducing the female correctional officers into sexual relations. Not only did he seduce these women, he fathered five children with four different officers. Tavon's plan worked as he oh god. I'm sorry. Uh Tavon's plan worked as he um was able <laughs> he knocked Get up together rocks <laughs> don't blame this on my drinks we only one and a half I'm in like ma'am <laughs> I'm hot I'm sweating but yeah Tavon's plan worked as he was able to get three quarters of the female staff to work for him as 75% of the quarters. correction officers um 75 there was 75% um women pretty much ran that prison it was 75 percent of them so he was able to use his charm to pretty much wow. uh, get what he want and he impregnated two broads yo these dumb ass bitches excuse my french was walking around belly and all talking about well you pregnant by him i'm pregnant by him so what that seemed like it's your you problem you. you know what i'm saying well guess what they all effing got convicted he got another 12 years for doing the stupid bullshit that he was doing and those 24 cor correctional officers were also found guilty including the women who were impregnated impregnated by him and yo what about the chicks the same correctional officers getting his name tattooed on their body wow eggplant peace sign Ooh. bomb emoji what's that guy's name the one with the I Eggplant, eggplant peace sign bomb. The one that what dressed can you say? up at the BET Awards with the purple jacket. What's his name again? Oh, August Alcina. Yeah, eggplant. Jesus Lord. I know. 
Okay. Well, it seems like aspiring artists have and are getting quite savvy when it comes to putting their music out there. A Chicago teenager by the name of Tyshawn Granger decided to put his <laughs> mixtape titled Tales of a Real Nigga as a substitute for a toy in each Happy Meal prepared by himself at the <laughs> Tales Donald's. of a Real Nigga. <laughs> Tales parent, of a Real one, Nigga. One parent thought it was a child-friendly disc, played the music on her way home from the fast food chain, and to her surprise, it was trap music. Sarah Platt said that the music was completely inappropriate and that Tyshawn's mixtape was complete was, was absolutely dreadful and had the weakest bars she'd ever heard <laughs> in her life. I, ooh, y'all don't know who's next to me. He's a star, y'all. I got two stars to my right, y'all. Where's his headphones? Oh. See your headphones there? Yes. So what you think about that? Mr. Easy, can we get it? You can hear him? Dump it, Mike. Dump it, Mike. <laughs> you might hold it, hold it. He's in our camera? All right. Can we hear you? Hi, yeah. Mr. Easy. Hi, right, what's going on? Wild go on, wild go on. Big up for the Sunday, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you what for coming that? out. I got to ask you a question. So this dude in Chicago named, mm -hmm. whatever his name is, he um decided that he worked at McDonald's that he was going to put his mixed CD called Tales of a Real Nigga in everybody, every little bit of <laughs> Happy Meal. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Is, that, is that the way to get on? Yeah, is that how you get on in nah, the industry? He's, 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 he, plus, he's you know he's not thinking about the business he's working for because you could get them sued. You know, it's a big lawsuit right there. This you one lady because that's yeah. not good. That's not uh, you can't go about it. This like one lady that. said that she thought it was a child-friendly CD and she decided to play the music while her and her child was driving home and it so was it's something that really trap took place. music. Something, yeah. yeah, in oh, Chicago it was oh, trap yeah. music like the crunk music okay. where they be talking about cooking coke. All right, but here's my thing though. The so thing I, was called Tales of a Real and Nigga. And I'm sure it had it stamped on the outside of the. They said he wrote it out. Yeah. 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 How <laughs> she ain't know that that wasn't child-friendly when it was called Tales of a Real Nigga. Thotimus Prime. She got to get the hell on. Why you can't just hand it to the adult, you know, to the parent or whatever that comes into the middle? Yeah. You know, they say he probably know. gave like 300 um, of those CDs away. I wonder if anybody yeah. liked it. Well, no, they said nobody complained. She's the only one that complained. And she said his music was horrible. <laughs> but we got to get onto Roxanne's roundtable. Our guest is here and I want to give him... I, we we got it. We got to ask you some questions, Mr. Yeah, Easy. Definitely. <laughs> I think I'm going to start the round R and R off a little bit different. Oh. Oh. My. Hey. Feel good music. Yeah. That thing is haunting. Just know that. Yeah, no, it's not good. I'm so excited. I'm cheesing. Yeah. Did you write this song for me? Well, you know, I, I, you know, you know, it's a reality and it's a real, it's a real story, it's a true story. I like this song. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, some you know, more? this song played so much yesterday. It's like crazy. All over. The, I just kept getting calls. This song just kept playing yesterday. Wow. Yeah, it's Yo, this song is. Oh, so it's a beautiful thing to write music, you know, because um, that's what happens when you write good music. Gotcha. So you know, let's get into our intimate. Yo, he would have hit the point. Cause she's having my baby, she goes on and on. She drives me crazy. On and on. I thought she was a lady. Oh, come on. She's got. Don't play with me, Mr. Easy. You're not easy. Sweet. Hey. Got me all hot. Where's his, his cranberry juice? For me, oh. Woo. Mr. Easy, Man. take it easy now. Man. <laughs> Mr. Easy, I have to first ask you, first and foremost, how did you get the name Mr. Easy? The first person that took me to a studio, you know, his name is Barry Dredd. That's the first um, producer that ever took me to a studio. It was in um, HCNF, rest in peace, um, Philip Smart. All right, and, you know, he said, when I finished recording, he said, you know, your personality, the way you sound, your name is so easy and it's stuck from there. You're cool gave, like a cucumber, you just yo. Gave it the name just you like are that, super you know? cool <laughs> and super humble, yo. This guy is super dope. You were born in Jamaica and pretty much raised here in Brooklyn. What part of Brooklyn you um raising? 96 Avenue A and B. Yeah. What part of Jamaica you come from? I was born in Mountain View, you know. Okay, but, wh where's that? That's in Kingston. I was okay. close to the airport. All right, all right. That's the, well, my family. They're from country, from Westmoreland. Which is kind of which is, it's a distance from there. Yeah, that's, that's like four hours. Yeah, that's a little bit of a, yeah. a reach, definitely. Spent a lot of time in Chelani, the great oh. parish of Chelani. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I read somewhere that you um did you do something um 
over by um, Peter Tosh Memorial. Yeah, um, performing with our Pizza Tuscan Memorial. That's in Westmoreland. Yes, that's where my, my grandmother yeah, lives yeah, a few yeah. houses yeah, yeah, away from there. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, get to yeah. go over there and burn the sensei. Yeah, it's a nice place. <laughs> and you got I'm nice, sorry. You got a beautiful beaches yes, right there. Yes, you can get your fresh fish and Everything. all that yeah, stuff. Man, yeah, man. Okay, I'm about to book a trip. Hopefully, I'll get out there for um, December. Many people are, may or may not know this, but you actually were on the world famous Showtime at the Apollo. You got some rave reviews from other, like from known stars such as patty labelle yeah. and quincy jones yeah. what was the experience experience like being I mean, signed the apollo theater actually gave him a confidence because i always hear that i can sing but i just never believe it you know my mom always said you can sing it so my mother used to give me like 20 dollars to go to the apollo every wednesday what to actually you know, compete. <laughs> amateur <night>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah amateur night to compete but she told me that if i didn't go somebody else will go you know and right. beat me to the punch so I, you know it was scary still you know but i kept Hell going kept yeah. going. And, you know the kind of reputation they got yeah but then um i kept winning i went up against 500 people then i went was 300. are you serious yeah because people don't understand showtime and apology get to actual television you have to perform and compete mm. week after week i did not with, know that with other comp you know it's called it's regular amateur night that yeah. takes you to the showtime at the apollo so you got to compete every week against other artists and knock them out of the box then you get to television wow and then you get chosen yeah then you get chosen to get so you got down so quincy jones signed yeah, into I was motown signed, yeah i was signed to quest it How was quest that? records warner brother it was good you know i mean get to you know i was i was around people like tevin campbell a lot of different artists you know yeah. um glenn glenn washington i mean kevin washington okay a lot of different different artists that was coming up at the time but they just never understand dance or reggae at the time like i you, you yeah. could imagine to, yeah, it was it was i was one of them first artists that they never knew that you have to still stay recording currently in your in your um, in your market, in your market at yeah. the same time you know so um but i did two albums for warner brothers which i still get publishing of that still sells nice, and, nice. You, know, so, you wrote all of your music yes i always yo that's because what the even hell them I'm times when you had even so you had I had so much material because you know at that time you're coming up so you have so much saved up in you so when it's time to do the album boom 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 we knocked out the album in no time still wow but i got to meet prince and all these stupid <laughs> wonders and that's uh, his favorite <laughs> yeah you know it's so funny you know meeting prince is a, is a weird thing still. why can we hear <laughs> yeah, that story please because i've heard yeah, i've story. heard prince can, can be i don't want to can be a little oh, come on come on <laughs> prince can be a little difficult i am i miss him being 12 times a day <laughs> never mind that what you gotta say I, you know what though i had a, a question though um now a few people know like my secret dream because there's always to to be a dancehall artist but i'm not from jamaica no, so it's like matter. you know he believes like, he's honorary I, I came up with this guy his name was el general you remember el yeah 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 yeah, yeah. From from Panama. Our, yeah that's my boy we all grew up in brooklyn together you see how el took it to that level but that was my question for you mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. like for like a lot of people who want to like you know you had like ricky and ding dong and all them they come yeah. from brooklyn but Big a up. lot of people mm -hmm. from brooklyn like mm -hmm. always wanted to like break out but it was like hard when you're not in yeah. jamaica you're not in jamaica you know how how was how 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 do you work that oh you know, no, being no the way brooklyn, the way the way the, up the like way that. the way i got my music out was i i decided after warner brothers after the experience with warner i moved back to jamaica in 1996. Oh. and when i moved back to jamaica i i, I met up with dave kelly and barry salmon yeah. and i started recording Barrett. so I, I stayed in jamaica for a while and i started recording on the hot rhythms and that so was coming what out. about those kids who are in brooklyn like right now today who want to blow it, up it still can happen because i mean right now i'm recording for ricky blaze i have a new tune we just dropped like two three days ago okay nice. called bashman Gale. Mm. Um, with, with the internet, yeah. now you don't you don't really need the Jamaica. Sky's the limit. You don't yeah. need Jamaica anymore. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Wow. Because Brooklyn is such a mecca. It's like being in Kingston. Brooklyn is like being in Kingston. He Can I tell you a funny wow. joke? Yeah. Can I tell you a funny sure. joke? So they said they deported this Jamaican dude and they deported him back to Flatbush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Real, real, never mind real. me. Never mind that's me. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so you say now that we have the internet, yeah, it, we don't. Same thing. Once the music is get, it gets to where yeah. it needs to get to. Because even wow. back in the days, like what we had, we had like Don One Studios Don Juan and all and, that. And you had um, um, I don't even remember on um, Superpowers. You, Superpower. But it was like Superpowers. it was like artists were coming up from Jamaica to record yeah. there and do but, their but, thing but there. But, the but thing kids is, from Brooklyn couldn't blow up. But what happened what was I mean? Witty. Witty was a good producer who produced Kuf with Shelly Thunder, a lot yeah. of yeah, 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 yeah. Witty was more interested in, in making artists break from out of New York. The thing with superpower you know i'm not a person to hide things superpower 
he wasn't interested in busting artists. He was interested in just making the money. The money. Making the money, yeah. So Sounds familiar, was, he, but I'm yeah, not going to name he, drop he, until he I He wasn't leave. pushing out no artists. He was just selling records, really. Right. So yeah. artists would come here because that's where they know everyone come there to meet up and do interviews and yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. But he wasn't interested. He was making so much money. Never really business about mm. The only person that really... and. That was his nephew, really, Trevor Sparks. If you remember Trevor Sparks, yeah. was a singer coming up. Yeah. Trevor was from England. He was related to Shelly Power. Then, but they sent him to Jamaica as well to record with Jammies for a minute still. But I mean, right now, look at Cranium. Cranium never went to Jamaica. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Cranium okay. was straight out of Brooklyn. I didn't even know that. No, no. Cranium, I didn't yes, know that either. Out of, out of. Cranium is from Queens. Oh, wow. Cranium never, Cranium record was hot. In the, in the US before mm. it was even hot in Jamaica. Wow. When I went to Jamaica, when I was in Jamaica, like like last year in, in the summer, I was in a gas station and a lady phone rang. She was one of the, um, reg you know, she was working at the register. So a phone rang, so Cranium song played. So I said, yo, you know Cranium? She said, yeah, he was in here last night. And I was like, I called Cranium same time. I know Cranium was in New York, but that's how his record was. It was really busting up Jamaica. Nobody knew who he was or saw him. Or wow. Like wow. So okay, now I have a question. Mm -hmm. Can I ask and she's a singer too. I'm um, a singer, Mr. but Easy. I, um, I, I'm an R&B singer. I don't mm -hmm. really know much about. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, I know, no. I know who you are. I know your song. <laughs> you know, this is a very popular song, but I, um, I uh, I remember like the like the nineties, like the mid nineties yeah, is when yeah, I was yeah. very into, yeah, you yeah. know, dance hall and like learn how to dance with her. And so when you mentioned like mm -hmm. moving back to Jamaica mm -hmm. and like recording to like the hot mm -hmm. rhythms, like do they like is that still a thing that like artists do? Like are there like rhythms now that no, like more people because I know to be honest with you, I don't even like the rhythms now. No. Ah, Me that neither. was gonna be my next question. Chelsea. I hate the rhythms now. So that's really what, why it was, it, because it's not dance hall. Mm. So what is it? Preach. I don't even know what it is like a oh. lot of your stuff you, you uh, keep it like to throw it back a lot yeah yeah, yeah. Wow. I, I have to keep it like that i stay in my own lane yeah yeah it's not that i can't because no I, assimilating to, be to that you, new stuff i grew up i grew up singing r&b because oh, i've been okay. here since i was 11 so i used to i, I heard marvin gay was one sing, of your yeah marvin gay danny Hathaway, stevie wonder these are the people yeah. oh you I, got that, soul yeah that's what Real. that's what that's why my vocals <laughs> It's strong. It's, it's different from a regular dancehall artist where I could, my style is like more R&B dancehall. Mm. But um, the music has changed. So I don't know what I don't know how the genre. Mm. And that's what's key. That's what kills the sale right now. Reggae. If you look at this now, dance reggae is selling. Yeah, because because in the in the in the nineties, mm -hmm. oh man, with our, with our, my favorite was, time. My favorite times. Dancehall was it was it's, the, it's, it sells, it took it over. Sell, took over, but now. With with BT MTV, these kids watching all this and see yeah. Puffy them, um, like, with all these the diamonds. They, yeah. they think they have to do go on hip hop beats to cross over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, growing up, I always hated those Man. songs. And they like would mash up the hip hop, and I used to be yeah, like, yeah, 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 nah, yeah, yeah. get that when out. They yeah, mix yeah, yeah. it up. I need to hear my. I don't want to hear no remixing of reggae music. But well, now it's, it's really deeper now that if you notice yeah. all the songs, everything is mashed together. Everything now. is mashed together. And hip hop, yeah, there reggae, were a couple everything, of everything were, sounds the and, same. And even, even the ones even, that were popular were kind of whack. But like which the one? Tour, the crossover? Like the yeah, like the the uh, which Capleton tour. Yeah, and here comes the hot stepper. All of those. Yeah, I hate it. You know, you know the Capleton tour. You know who did? It wasn't even his fault that though. You know remix that who did that who? that Wait. was little john little, little john little are john? you serious wow Li who put the, 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 john the is children's a story beat little john yeah. from atlanta yeah you know, little john is a who yeah, so little john been around wow. since forever yeah little john plays a lot of dance off from those days little john is a i've actually little john has actually called me to do dub plates and i, and I, I was shocked <laughs> wow <laughs> me squeechy down red Fox. we did dub plates yeah. with little john and that's when talking to this guy on the phone was a totally different experience because I can't, I can't he's realize he's about deep into dancehall. And, and well, he's he was about deep into dancehall. Yeah, I, know, I, was, I, I was reading an article I last week mm -hmm. in Billboard mm -hmm. saying that, um, what's the kid? Oh, the song Cheerleader? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Oh, um, Omi? Yeah, Omi. Ricky like, Blaze remixed it. The, 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 um, the mix that you're hearing on the radio, that's re the, Ricky Blaze did that. Oh, I didn't even know Rick did that. Yeah, Rick um, they, uh, they said like, like that song is blowing up so big and they're saying that That song been big in Jamaica for like three years ago. But wow, this thing, we this just thing internationally, catching on? Like, yeah, this it, thing is it, blowing it, up in, yeah, in it, England, it, in Europe, and Australia. It's, that, it's crazy in yeah. Australia. It's crazy. And they're predicting the that. The Aussies, where ain't no black people. But they, but they, they do making, love black uh, music, uh, uh, though. Uh, uh, Shout out to my uh, Australia crew, my Melbourne, my Sydney crew. They represent. Yeah. Have you been over there? No, but I'm going. Every time I'm supposed to go, I end up going somewhere else. Like, the date is. 
Because they work They're gonna be wanting to touch your hair and feel yeah, no, the No, not in Australia. They don't act like that. My friend just came back from there. In really? The article, yes. I didn't have that experience Strangest, ever. Oh, really? Maybe mm-hmm. it was just her. No, in the Ooh. article, they were making a prediction that dancehall is going to be the next music genre to, like, blow up internationally. Mm-hmm. Like, like this going to be the next wave. I thought it was already like, blown up. No, no, no. Like, like how it's just going to be the next big thing. Any other. But you yeah. have to come back to... That's why I'm, 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 I feel bad to know that Dave Kelly moved out of Jamaica. Tony Kelly just moved back. But Dave Kelly is the one that did the Brockout Rhythm Showtime. Yeah. The um the, the um Terror Fabulous and and, uh, and and um th- this song play every day on our, on, on American radio. With Terror and uh, Nadine Sutherland. Uh, action. Uh, action. Love. Yeah, Dave, yeah. Dave Kelly. He loves Nadine Sutherland. You know the catalog <laughs> if you know the catalog of Dave Kelly, yeah. all that he bust Buju. But yeah, he bought Buju, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Free Gargamel. And it's him and his brother that bust that did all <laughs> I did all most of my hits for both brothers that was what madhouse wow. right madhouse madhouse, madhouse. 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 Cool. yeah 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 and k-licious records k-licious okay i didn't That's know tony kelly they're, they're, yeah they're brothers but um tony tony taught dave the biz or the play or the make music so i gotta mm-hmm. ask you wait hold up so i know how because i feel the same way i share the same sentiment yeah. in terms of how music even across the board whether it's hip-hop especially hip-hop it, it makes me want to stick my finger well, to be my honest throat. with you i don't mean the culture but Hip hop is going through the same thing as dance. That's so, what I'm because saying. Because hip hop has, has more, uh, like have more, a lot more um, found, like well, a foundation. Please don't it. say foundation. Not foundation. They have more backing. Backing behind it. Financial backing. Financial backing. Gotcha. But it doesn't necessarily mean that music is good. Right. Because, all right. It just. Has well, we know that. Yeah. Be, be in the club right now, and play, a Mace and Puffy. And play what's going on and see which one makes you move more spiritually more and you're gonna mess with yeah. puffy all day besides if you had to compare it to whatever you listen to now what's so funny i have an 18 year old so i said to him I, one day i was playing like some old school reggae mm-hmm. i'm in my car just my, my, getting it yeah. in and he was like and i was like what you know about this because i saw him bopping his head mm-hmm. and i was like what you know about this and he was like mommy truthfully yeah, they, this they, is the type of music i vibe with yeah, more than anything the they playing right now my son says the same so do you have any artists out there like no conscience um, um who who like who do you, you like you anyone mess with? no really, yeah. really to be honest with you who keep it real with me still as an artist it's like more busy signal busy signal busy. Dope. create a lot and try to keep it yeah in yeah that, yeah you know because that's why that's why busy tour certain areas that a lot of artists can't go busy is like you you go to africa and Make you'll sure. get like thirty thousand people that are you thing. serious yeah, that's you know. what's up yeah so who's your crew that you run with right now who you who well you running with? basically um it's really just me. I mean, I, you know, me and Fox and my Shaggy, then we grew up together, and everybody, everybody had to do them thing. You Shoggy! Know, but, you know, but I'm, 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 right. more, <laughs> I'm more like, because the music I'm doing, people are doing other different other things. And yeah. that's why I'm, I'm just, as right. I say, doing I'm your own lane. In my lane just doing yeah. this, this real as dance all thing. Which which producers are you working with right now? Well, I've worked with um, Shams. You know, Shams, um, Shams is, is, is uh, from Main Street. I don't know him. Yeah, you know, if you, you know, I probably, probably know his you work. You know, a lot of hits know. that he's yeah. made, produced for artists and stuff like that. Um, Piranha. I've Rick, heard, I'm, I've I'm heard doing, of Piranha. I'm, I'm doing a lot of work with Rick, Ricky Blaze. Right Definitely, now. Rick, yeah. Ricky Blaze is a friend um, to the room. Even my, though he hasn't been here yet, but he been here. <laughs> not, <laughs> not yet, not he'll yet. Be here. Yeah. We're speaking it into existence. <laughs> next, next week, you know, we go back to Jamaica to do some work with Tony Kelly again, and yes. stay down there for a month and just put him back some work. And Mr. Easy, yeah. I mean, you make a lot of songs. First of all, your voice is incredible. And I've never did voice training. I ain't showing off. Like that. <laughs> Listen now, a lot of ladies they like you. How is it like? Are you able to walk down the street without being yeah, man, accosted? I'm, I'm, I'm real humble. I'm, I mean, yo, you are like, humble. Like, <laughs> you know what? One, one, one of the greatest things is just to, to travel and perform. You know, I mean, oh, travel around the world. You're living and out your people. dream, and, and that's what you know. Because sometimes music can be very frustrating. You know that as an artist. But How then, so? Because I'm not a singer. So um, I don't know. I don't. I don't understand just the business part of it dealing with all different different personalities dealing with different people that there's always somebody have an alter that's trying to rip you off or they know you're going to catch up to them but they always yeah they, they'll do it teach, nonetheless you know, I mean, everything coming, in between when you yeah, record the record yeah, and when yeah, you get you to perform it in front of people yeah. is bullshit yes yes you know, i mean a lot i don't hide the Shit. truth about music you know, a lot, but, you know what, 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 what's good i always tell kids you know learn about your publishing because producers don't want to teach you that yeah my first deal, I got like I remember I was getting like three hundred thousand dollars, hundred, 
and I never Chuck, understood. Can I hold something? No, no, no. But to be honest with you, I, at the time I had no one in, in my family that understood the business, and right. that's why I lost a lot of money. Because the person that got me signed to Warner Brothers, he never taught me, and I was just more happy to see have a video. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, and like so that kind of made me, you know, lose a lot of money and not understanding the business. So they I'm don't teaching, care at I'm, all. Yeah, but it's just that I have this drive, so I keep. I just, it, yeah, it never, it never so what me. information do you have like what words of advice do you offer the uh up and coming artists you know just just separate the two words you know to separate the, you know music and business don't call yeah. it music just say music one is part of it is music and then you and, you, t and you make sure you take care of the business the you word know? business is a lot longer than the word music <laughs> so you just take care of the business you understand me don't get caught up in that and and learn about publishing make sure you know you, you learn to write music mm. you know you write all of your songs i have people that help me and i have people that write for me as well because i like to hear other sounds yeah and other people ideas See how it meshes. but um i write for myself too just write a lot gotcha because, because the first thing i do i, I catch melodies easy oh, melodies is what, it's, it's, it's not even the lyrics like the melody because you could write a bunch of songs but it has to catch a person because a person learned the melody before they actually yeah. learn the, the, the lyrics yeah they'll learn they'll, they'll see them humming the melody and then yeah they, two weeks later they learn the lyrics yeah that that'll be yeah. me all day long <laughs> sometimes it takes me a few years to learn lyrics <laughs> i gotta go yes, there. It's all about you gotta give us your facebook or your social media information yeah, it's all about acid rains acid rain music you know asid -A uh -huh. -A music I, you know just acid rains are you on facebook at I'm all facebook, or twitter yeah. and uh, yeah all that, all that acid rains acid, acid rains <laughs> so i was looking at the wrong shit god damn <laughs> what you looking at? i don't know well i mr easy you have a facebook yeah, page there yeah yeah i mean acid rain acid so rains. That. yeah we'll do hi Ra. Mm -hmm. gotcha so is there anything else any final words that you want to have because a lot of people of mm -hmm. Because, you know, I'm Jamaican. So yes, a lot of us are listening. Well, definitely. And, uh, up and coming to, artists. Up and coming artists. Yes. Because what happened, a lot of artists know. I mean, I remember when Baby Sham was coming out. Sham, yes, Sham had like four records, hit records. And we never let make we never make him tour until he was ready. Because okay. we said, you know, you got to be able to perform for people. Yes. And if you notice, like, Stage now, with, with a lot of artists, now, you'll go to see them perform and you don't want to see them again. And that's not good. <laughs> that's why people like to go and see Barry Hammond every time he comes around because mm. he's a person that performs. No yeah. matter how you know, old him yeah, gets. You, you, you never lose that step, you yeah. know? Yeah. And that's the same thing I do. That's I always play the same, I can play the same circuit all the time because I make and sure. And never get tired yeah, of Yeah, because you. I always perform well. And, and, and that's, that's one thing I tell artists, just don't develop recording develop performance yeah. well i can say you ain't new to this you're true to this as a great devil leave, devil leave used to say you know <laughs> for real <laughs> listen he's been doing his thing since the 90s since yeah. the, as the americans and would I'm say still, since mumu was a pup yeah, you know what i'm, I'm saying still current and, still current and doing still current still, still, still relevant still, still relevant, still relevant. Yeah, 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 but yeah, we gotta yeah, yeah. wrap this show up because rod eastwood is in the house um you want to can you share that information with us one more time as to how they can find you it's all about acid rains acid rains yeah, Acid Rain's music, Mr. Easy, you know, and just Google Mr. Easy, anything that I do, you know. I think just, you should do a song with Mila Machenko, but yeah. here you go, go there. Hey, can I be in your video? Well, you know, I, I mean, be a love interest. because we get, we get ready to do this, I said, this, this um, dancehall thing, me and Ricky Blaze, so it's going to, you know, get ready to do the video for that. Gotcha. It's going to be mad, you know, it's going to be mad. We got Ricky Blaze. Mila. Yeah. Your information, darling. My Twitter, my Facebook, my Instagram. M E L A M A C H. Can you sing it? <clears throat> I want him to hear your voice. Yeah, I'm here. Oh gosh, do you want me to do the Jill Scott thing? Mm -hmm. Hold on, six. M E L A M I C H I N K O. God damn. Man, man, man. Mila Machinko. Yeah. My Snapchat is Machinko. Um, Mila, you be taking me down. My periscope is something else. <laughs> Don't um, forget, you can, money, something. Yeah. I'm out here well, now. Well, she out here in these streets. Don't forget, you can catch Roxanne because sisters give me the finger. Roxanne, Roxanne, here every Sunday from 2 to 3 p.m. Follow me on Twitter at Roxanne R O X one on Facebook Roxanne Roxanne IG Roxanne Roxanne NYC. You can check our website out as well, Roxanne, Roxanne.rocks, R-O-C-K-S. And for all inquiries, including advice, questions, 
sponsorships, please email me, email me, email me. My tongue is getting heavy. Info at Roxanne, Roxanne .rock. You can catch me on, catch all of my previous shows there as well. YouTube at Roxanne, Roxanne TV. Thank you guys for listening and be well. Six, drop something special for us, Hey, S-I-D-R-E-I-G-N-Z, Mr. Easy. You heard? Woo! Yay! Yay. A little while ago, pop up in a whiskey And every man yeah. run down to my street But to all of we are the red and I wear them a penny We are take where we sell, take where we sell The vinyl a come with knapsack You know they can spread them and fund them back No promise yeah. you know them a rap it You know say them struck me a Take where we sell, take where we sell Me and sample six them a room And a little while ago, kick up in a desert Before we think we roll it back with big room Better me just take where we sell the comments said that no means that we run away. Spread no one, you will if you see another day. Can't stand up in front of my AK. Then I don't mind, you're not playing. You put tears, we be doing that every day. While the sun's on, you know you have to make it. I'll be still focused, not have time to stray. Why no way, no one, no delay. Man, I'm OG, man, I'm long time, dog, long time. I'm in the city, so no see we young judge. Me, I get me feet, I know my tongue loves. Take what we sell, take what we sell. Me, boy, young stands, not at the even if them to buy your name like a gum Who want to criticize me, them talk and done just Take where you sell, take where you sell Big man open up your ears jump Live by the gun, then die by the gun You want to know how to survive in all this room More time, take where you sell, take where you sell The common sense that no means that we run away Spread now and you really be see another day You stand up in front of man with AK Kill the gun man, you're not playing we have but yes, we be doing that every day While the sun shine, you know you want to make it I'm this people, but not a time to stray Right now we don't want to be there I love it